What's going on guys, Nathan with Technology Smash back with another video and today I have an opening and unboxing of this. It's the Arlo HD security camera. It's completely wireless by Netgear. Um, so completely wireless, no cords, no wires, no worries. So we're going to go ahead and look around the packaging first. Gives you kind of some specs over here. It is weatherproof. Um, gives you the video specs requirement. You need an internet connection. It runs on 2.4 gigahertz. Um, has a range of 300 feet, all that good stuff. Um, just some pictures on the back of what, you know, they want you to see. And then there's obviously an app included with seven days of free cloud restore or cloud storage. Sorry. Um, there's apps on the Amazon store, uh, Apple app store and the play store. So we're going to go ahead and get into this, um, brought out the bigger option for getting into this box. So there's just a sticker over the front here and it looks like there's a sticker on the back here. The packaging is very strange. They did it to showcase the camera in the middle uh, to show everybody obviously what it was. So this is not an easy package to get open. And actually there's a couple of times where I skip uh, in this video and cut out portions that literally took me several minutes to get the packaging to where I wanted it to, which was very frustrating. Um, and I get it though. It's a, It's got a nice appeal at the store. So Trying to kind of pull these tabs up, they're stuck to the side. This will give you an idea if you were looking at getting this camera, just how secure this is in. So we're going to slide that top part open and we'll get, gonna, excuse me, we're going to get to the uh, insides of the bottom part of the box. So we have two identical sizes in here. And the hard part is the camera uh, in there. So you can see there's a little tiny knob down there. And we'll see in a second. So there's two flaps, you push through the top and then the plastic comes off, but then the camera's still stuck. So I actually had to find out how to get this thing off. It is insanely tight. There's a little plastic rod that runs up through the bottom of the camera where you can actually screw it on with another accessory. Um, and you see it right there. It's actually like a plastic nut. So I had to use pliers to get this thing off. Uh, so I basically had to hold it in place and then turn the camera until it would come off. This thing was insane. When I tried to put it back on to see how far it came out, I couldn't screw it back on as tight as it was. So a little heads up if you're going to be getting this camera or this packaging. Yeah, that was very annoying to get off. So always something different with different packaging. But again, presentation looks awesome and it caught my eye at the store. I've been wanting to look at this camera for quite a while. Um, just the draw of you know full wireless with batteries is pretty cool. You can put them anywhere you want and there's a strong magnet on the back. So uh, I've always wanted to look at it. So we'll go ahead and set this camera down. Let's get into this first box here. Um, nothing packaging wise on the side so we'll just open it up. There's a little cardboard holder on the middle. So this is basically, <clears throat> I guess you would call it a router. Um, this plugs into your router at home or your internet connection so this stands up it's not small it's like the size of a modem router combo or router whatever you might have it's made by Netgear obviously um, the whole package is so you plug in through the back there's a wired connection <clears throat> excuse me to this and it just kind of stands up um, next to your internet setup at your house there's a little box here we'll go ahead and see what's in there so these are the batteries for the camera as you can see, they are not normal standard size batteries. So they are going to be these 123s. I don't know the exact name. The ones that come in the package are Energizer and they're lithium. That is going to be probably something that's not going to be cheap to replace because they're not common sizes. So on the inside of this packaging here, you have a little sticker that says video monitoring in progress. You may not see Arlo, but Arlo sees you. I think that's a pretty cool little tagline. So that's probably meant to stick on a window cling on your house to let everybody know that they are being recorded if they come up there. And that was all that was in the first box. So let's go ahead and move some of that out of the way and get into the second one. So same kind of cardboard cutout here. We'll just slide this out to check on the insides. Okay. So we have a ethernet cord that will plug into the unit and your internet connection and a power cord. So it's got a brick and a standard size power adapter to plug into. Then we have a kit to hang up the camera, the little mount that comes in there. So here's one of the mounts. 
and it's a piece of metal on one side because it's a magnet. Uh, the camera, sorry, has a magnet inside. So these are metal, so you hook them up to somewhere. There's two screws, one screw per, and you can see just how strong this magnet is. Very, very strong. I'm super impressed with it. There's like a little rubberized part where the concave uh, section of the camera is, where the metal snaps into. Um, very strong. So here's the front. We'll go ahead and get that stuff out of the way so we can focus on the front. And the front has um, a little sticker. So the side just says neck gear. The back has that little rubberized foot. And the bottom has the little um, battery door that is not easy to open up, by the way. So you have to slide this little locking mechanism over. And then you have to pull it to the side. So you kind of have to work with it. It's great because it's for weatherproofing, obviously. And it will keep things out. Um, and it will keep the batteries, more importantly, in. So that was another little jump there. It took a few seconds to get that open. So we'll go ahead and plop these batteries in. I, I did a little bit of research on the batteries. Uh, they obviously are more expensive than your standard AA or AAA, but um, they weren't too bad. So if you want to get rechargeables, I'm sure you can. But these go in four at a time so we can kind of see the weight. If you have multiple cameras, you're going to be buying a lot of batteries. So that's the other downside to the full wireless. So snap that in. It's got a nice weight to it, um, but the nothing that the magnet can't help. So we'll pull that off, the little sticker. Looks really nice. It would be great as like a nanny cam, so I recommend it for that. Um, this magnet is, again, really strong. I can stick it to my fridge without anything else. So overall, I really like the size. Um, we'll see how the video quality is and stuff. But, you know, if you're looking at picking one of these up, I think this is a great option for something wireless so you don't have to get all set up. And you can see it kind of just moves wherever you need it to. So... I think it's a good option for somebody who wants it like that. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Feel free to leave any comments down below, and I will see you later. Thanks.